For the past month and a half, we have been participating in the Feeding Hope Challenge, in which we are trying to raise enough food and funds to provide 9 million meals to our hungry neighbors. At this point, at the beginning of this week, we were at about 4.5 million meals. So what we contribute today will help us towards that goal, but we really need everyone to donate their time and funds and food to help us get to that goal. Today we have put a small dent in that goal. I'm proud to say that altogether, the Metro Food Fight this year collected over 62,500 pounds of food. That's an 11% increase over our collection last year. And according to Second Harvest, this food will provide over 48,800 meals to Davidson County families. I am honored that Governor Haslam has joined in our competition this year. Uh, this is the second year that I've asked the governor's office to go head to head with my staff to see who could collect the most donations. And I certainly appreciate the fact that the newly elected officials such as Governor Haslam, uh, after being in office now just a little, almost a year, had a lot on his plate and he sort of, certainly could have politely declined and said there'll be other years, but instead um, his office embraced this competition fully and I'm grateful to him for that and so is Second Harvest. So it's now my privilege to introduce our governor, Governor Bill Haslam. Thank you, Mayor. It's actually a, a, a privilege and an honor to be involved in this food fight. When you were talking, I was thinking last year at this time, I was involved in a year-long a food fight known as a political campaign, and <laughs> this one's a whole lot more fun. Uh, and uh, even uh, maybe more productive as well. Uh, Janie, thank you very much for the work you've done. When I was mayor in Knoxville, we worked closely with Second Harvest of East Tennessee because I saw the direct impact they had on families uh, and families that uh, were in high need. I think the number here is about 30% of the folks you serve are children. Uh, and Jenny just said, hey, when, when the requests and needs are up 25% and our donations are down 25%, well, that math doesn't work. Uh, and so I'm glad that we can have a little bit of fun competition, but hopefully to highlight uh, a very specific need uh, of families uh, uh, with, with real issues around hunger here in Middle Tennessee. And uh, unfortunately, it's a problem that plagues us across the state. So I want to thank Second Harvest and Jamie uh, for, uh, for your real work, hands and boots, uh, hands on, boots on the ground in addressing a problem, and for your creativity in helping us uh, hopefully highlight uh, the issues that we're facing in Tennessee. So thank you, Mayor Dean, for your leadership. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll say this as somebody that's new to, uh, to state government, uh, it's been a privilege to work with your office. And, all different endeavors, whether it be a, a food fight like this or helping bring jobs to Tennessee, uh, you guys have been terrific and it, it's great to be your partner. So on behalf of the state of Tennessee, thank you very much for the leadership and, and we're, we're glad to have a small chance to work with you, Janie. Thanks. Let's remember we all love friendly competition, but it's really, I'll tell you who really wins today. It's the people that we serve each and every day. So they're the true winners. But now I have the opportunity to let you know which office actually won the competition. So the winner is the governor, Bill Haslam's office. <laughs> The governor raised over 6,077.15 pounds, which is 1.38.12 pounds per person. Well, first, congratulations to the governor and his staff. Um, you know, it's better to win. We ran, we, we won last year and- We appreciate the orange tie though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Glad to do it. But this is a great cause and, and certainly, um, as Janie said, the real winners are the clients and that's what we want to do. And, I'm very uh, appreciative of the governor participating and, and participating so well. 